Greetings, and welcome to episode 40. In today's episode, we'll be discussing using your energy and how you can use your energy to either make life harder or make life easier. I would also like to point out, this is the episode that was planned for Friday, but I started a new job and was unable to make one, and I generally don't make full-length videos on the weekend. You also didn't get one for Christmas because, well, it was Christmas. <laughs> but now we're back in the swing of things, and you'll be getting your videos on a daily basis as regular. All right, so if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, using your energy. When I say using your energy, I don't mean, oh, I was lifting heavy weights or I was walking. I mean using your energy, your energy field. You ever noticed how some people walk into a room and it just brightens up? That's their energy affecting everything in the room. Likewise, there's people that can walk in the room and bring the energy level straight down. Again, that's their energy affecting everything in the room. My wife has this ability. When she uh, when she gets pissed off, she can make the room just feel miserable for everybody. Not just herself or the person she's mad at, just poof, everybody feels it. And, uh, yeah, that's how you use your energy negatively. <laughs> you want to watch that because you can, this is what I mean by using it to make life more difficult because how, whatever energy you're putting out there that's what energy you're attracting to yourself and that's going to make life more difficult if you're attracting negative energy to yourself you're going to attract a lot of negative things you're going to put yourself in harmonic resonance with other things of that level of negativity and the deeper your level of negativity the deeper the negativity that comes back to you Likewise, if you keep your energy at a positive or even a balanced state, that's what you're going to draw to yourself. Now, there are things beyond simple energy manipulation, but you'll learn those things as you go on. As The, the more you practice these things, these energy techniques, the better you get at them. You'll start to see there's other things that are connected to these. Well, why didn't he tell me these before? Because I don't want you to get confused or ahead of yourself trying for the parlor tricks when you should be just focused on what you're doing. Pay attention to the energy you're giving off. And I'm not saying, oh, you have to be perfect. You can't ever get upset. And blah, blah, blah. No. Just pay attention to the energy you're giving off. If you are giving off positive energy, notice it. Oh, I'm giving off a lot of good vibes. That's what they mean, good vibes or bad vibes. If you're giving off a lot of negative energy, notice it. You know, validate that moment. And then ask yourself, well, why am I feeling this negative about whatever it is? You'll start to know, you start to realize that the more you keep track of the energy you're giving off, the less likely you are to give off negative energy. And that means that when you do give off negative energy, there's going to be a damn good reason. In other words, something has to actually trigger it. It gives you a little bit longer fuse. We're not trying for perfection. We were born perfect. We're here to experience life, not to experience perfection. Okay? First and foremost. So, you're just keeping track of it. You're just trying to take notice of when and how much and why. The better you get at it, the more you can control your actions as opposed to reacting to a situation. You're in a better position to act. Like, I'm getting this stimuli, poof, or fly off into a rage, rawr. or I'm getting this stimuli and, huh, and you can see that this person is suffering, or this person is purposely trying to get you into that negative space to either join them or for whatever reason. Some people cannot live through their day. They cannot feel good about themselves without taking somebody else down. And you'll be able to spot that. Huh, huh, he's trying to make me go down. Likewise, some people will try and raise you up. Walk into the room and they're like, hey, how you doing? 
and poof that energy hits you and you're automatically up and that's that feels good and everybody's experienced that you may not have noticed it but everybody's experienced it on both sides and then you have the people that are in a relatively good balanced state where when they when their energy hits you it's like poof yeah it's really mellow it's not all sunshine and light and it's not all dark and shadows and it's just pow right on and those are the people most people gravitate towards they're the people that are most balanced we call those people cool yeah he's cool he's real cool that's what we say about those people <coughs> anyone else is either negative or super what do they call it uh, 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 I can't remember the word I used I use it all the time chipper She's really chipper. <laughs> that means she's got a lot of positive energy. That's not a bad thing. Just like, don't get it twisted. Having a lot of negative energy isn't a bad thing if that's just your energetic disposition to begin with. That just means you start your day from a negative energy. It doesn't make you a bad person. You don't even necessarily have to go around being mean or evil to people. My wife has a more negative energy. But she's not a mean or bad person, unless you piss her off, and then poof, you get the full force of that shit. <laughs> but I tell you what, it's. It's something to do with not being controlled. I, I said I, I said this in a video uh, a couple videos back. Not being controlled by your emotions, not letting other people control you through your emotions. If I can get you off your center or off of whatever energy you're accustomed to, I'm in control of you. I've now brought you to where I need you to be, so I can do what I need to do. Either whether it's bringing you down to a really negative state or raising you up. When someone's trying to raise you up, it's generally not going to be something negative coming out of that. There are exceptions to the rule. You've heard of people paying lip service, and that's what that means. Ooh, I just shook the camera. <laughs> They'll raise you to a higher vibrational state because they want something from you. And they're paying you lip service and you're liking what you're here and they're playing to your ego to build you up so they can get you that, that final knockdown, which is usually they're going to ask you for something or tell you you got to do something. But if you are mindful of your ego or do what I do and try not to have one at all, <coughs> you'll be able to tell that this guy's just blowing smoke up my ass. And that's an, another term used for that, when someone's using positive energy in a negative way to try to get something out of you instead of just here, have some, have some positive energy. If you're using positive energy in a negative way, it's no different than using negative energy because you can do the same thing by tearing someone completely down and then use their ego against them in that way. We've all done it, whether on purpose or on accident. Most of the time, I'm going to have to say it's on accident. The build down, the tear down, when you're tearing someone down to get what you want, is usually done on accident. You are, in that instance, you are angry for whatever reason. And that's where it's important to be mindful of your energy. If you can keep yourself from going down there, you can keep yourself from taking anybody else with you. Instead, if you can't build them up, if you can't build yourself up in that moment, stay centered and as balanced as, as you can contain in that moment because then you're going to even the playing field. And this isn't, it'll, it'll, it will take you away your advantage if you're trying to win an argument. But then you can win an argument even if you're in the wrong just by negative manipulation of somebody else's energy. <clears throat> and
And if that's all you're trying to do, that's what they mean by a manipulative person. Because they know how to manipulate your energy to get the response they want. If you're mindful of your response, then you're going to be mindful of their attack on you, whether they're using positive energy or negative energy. And see, people don't, like I said, people don't realize when it's happening to them, and some people don't even realize they're doing it. It's just a technique they've used their whole lives since they were a baby. Or sometimes they pick it up as they go along, and it becomes such a habit that they don't just, it just, it's a program that runs. And so when they want something, they use these techniques to get it. If you are mindful of your energy, they won't be able to get that from you. They won't be able to tear you down. And even if you drop down a little bit, like they're trying to tear you down, and you drop down just a little bit, and if you are mindful, if you follow this technique, and you're mindful of your energy, you'll be able to see, they brought me down here on purpose. Take a breath. A mental and emotional step back. Start again from a balanced point of view. And what will really piss them off is if you raise the energy level <laughs> to let them know that you can't tear me down. And watch them flip their technique. So instead of trying to tear you down, now they're going to try the same tactic but in the reverse. They're going to try and lift you back up. They're trying to get at your ego and use your ego to get what they want. Or people that, it doesn't matter what energy they use. They come at you forcefully. And they try to force their energy on you. And you're like, whoa. And you're just so overwhelmed that you can't really think straight in that moment. So they get what they want from you. They don't even, they, they, they don't even give you a chance to, to think. Because that's, what they're, that's their technique they used. Coming in fast and hard. Whether they're telling the truth or not. They're probably going to get what they want. Unless you can understand your own energy patterns when you understand your own energy someone tries to mess with it they may get it to to waver a bit but then you'll know okay this guy's trying to bully me and it usually works larger people usually use this tactic because they're used to people being intimidated by their size so they use that energy that they've learned over the years of people being intimidated by their size and that's how they come at you. Poof, I'm big. And uh, when they do that to me, I write back at them, poof, so what? <laughs> and they instantly change their tune when they realize they can't change your energy level. And it works every time. Not just on people, not just on the, the energy bullies that try to force their energy on you, but on anybody that's trying to manipulate your ego, either positively or negatively. Once you realize what they're trying to do and you stop them, They'll either stop talking to you or change the subject. But likewise, they could just want to have conversation at a positive level. So they come at you from a positive level and they're talking to you from there. And some people just have negative energy and that's where they're talking to you from. And you'll be able to learn the difference between the two. The three, I should say, because just because somebody's at a negative level and talking to you doesn't mean they're trying to bring you down to their level. And in that case, it does not hurt you one bit to raise them up a bit. You know, oh, how, how are you doing? You know, it's not, and it might not even be a how are you doing. Maybe just inquire about their day. Oh, you look like you're having a rough day. Are you doing all right? And they'll say, oh, I'm doing all right. That little bit of concern could be the difference between that person spending the rest of the day in a negative state and snapping out of it. And most people that just exist in, in a negative space, that's all it takes is that little bit and they're poosh. They're maybe not up to the heights, but they're going to bob up and down at, at even, breaking even. And they're going to be at that state probably for the rest of the day just because you showed that even the tiniest way you give a fuck. People appreciate that. Just like if you don't have it in you to to match a really cheery, chipper person's energy, don't bring them down just because you don't go there. <laughs> Either stay even or try and meet them halfway. Let let them know in some way that I just I don't have that kind of positive energy. 
you know I just don't see it that way could you meet me halfway and you don't say these things you're, you're using your energy to have this dialogue you know I'm not up there I'm not trying to drag you down but could you meet me halfway you know be in control of you because some people they get it wrong they get it all twisted this person's chipper and they automatically assume this person thinks they're better than me I've, I've, see, I've seen it everywhere literally everywhere being a truck driver I've been everywhere and these people if they can't manipulate your emotions or your ego they automatically assume that you're, you think you're better than them translation they think you're better than them and it automatically puts them on the defensive so when a really chipper cheery person you ever heard that, that how everyone talks when a really chipper person leaves the room I was a fucking ball of sunshine <laughs> you know just just it's because they can't reach that level they don't know what it's like to be at that level and subconsciously and even consciously they're they're thinking in their mind that person's better than me because I could never be there well not not a lot of us can I mean I in my cheery state I've still been outdone by some pretty cheery motherfuckers <laughs> even in the, you could flip the script on that too I mean I've been pretty pretty in a pretty bad negative space and still had people lower than me which tells me that no matter how you feel there's going to be someone higher there's going to be someone lower so pay attention to your energy it could make the difference in somebody's day either by you could uh, not be keeping track of it and I've done this before you're just having such a bad day you're not focused on anything internal you're all external that day it's all about the material world and then somebody says something or does something and they're joking and this has happened to me and they're joking and you just you're in that negative place and boom you snap at them and they're just joking and you realize that as soon as the words leave your mouth you realize that and if you're lucky they give you an opening to apologize well you know I was just joking man uh -huh. and you say yeah, I'm having a bad day dude I really did not mean to snap at you like that I apologize Oh, excuse me. That's happened more often than not. You get that opening to to get that apology in there. But sometimes they're gonna meet you right where you met them, not where they tried to meet you up here, but they're gonna meet you where you met them down here, and they're gonna drop right down there and fire back, and then boom, 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 it goes back and forth. Those usually fizzle out. If it wasn't about nothing, if it was just a joke, it usually ends up fizzling out and still ends in apology but it's not that immediate opening that usually happens that oh dude you know I was just joking I didn't mean to offend you that one it's not that one you're just gonna get the back and forth until finally it was like dude look having a bad day didn't mean to take it out on you going about my business they get the half ass apology because they didn't really they didn't really come at you with understanding that oh I see you're having a bad day I didn't mean it they just come at you like Life sucks for us all. You, you you better just suck it up. You know, if, if I gotta suck it up, brother, you gotta suck it up. <laughs> but yeah, had you been mindful, or in that case that I just mentioned, had I been mindful of my energy level, if I wasn't in such an external material space, I would have been mindful that I'm in a bad mood. You might want to stay away from people because I can't get myself out of this negative space or whatever it is or had I been paying attention to it I could have gotten myself out of that negative space before I had to interact with people but I didn't and that happened but in the particular instance I'm talking about I got that immediate apology opening where I could say dude look I'm sorry I'm just having a bad day and you know I realize you're joking and I'm sorry so that was one one time I got to save. <laughs> There's several times. I mean, almost every time that happens, I get to save. It doesn't happen that often, thank God. But when it does happen, I get to save. There's usually that opening. I bet there have been times where there was no opening and we played it out till its final lunacy or final half-assed apology, whatever. But yeah, it's it was 
primarily because I wasn't paying attention to my own energy level. And then feeling somebody else's positive energy in that space, I wasn't interested. Whereas, had I been mindful, interested or not, I could have still interacted in a more either balanced or positive manner and didn't. So when you use your energy, be mindful of your energy. You could be the difference between someone having a shitty day and an okay day. The difference between someone having an okay day and a good day. The difference between someone having a good day and a great day. And it goes right back down the spectrum too when you're using negative energy. You could be the, the reason somebody instead of having a great day only had a good day. And so on and so forth. All right, down the spectrum. Balance. If you're balanced, you're prepared for whatever comes. I mean, I would suggest this even if you are a super chippy person and just, yeah, and just got that positive energy, just wellsprings of it. I would say even to you, try to be more, not neutral, but balanced. I don't want you to be neutral. I want you to be an active participant in your life. So be balanced. That way, no one's perceiving your energy as though you're thinking you're better than them. Because remember, that's how they're coming at you. You think you're better than me, but what that translation is, it's, I think you're better than me. And so to avoid that, and yes, it's up to the person experiencing the moment. It's up to them to see that you're just in a higher vibrational state than they are. It's up to them to see that, but you have to remember, 90 percent of the population doesn't see it that way. They see it from an external materialistic point of view. They just see you standing on clouds while they're down in the mud and you just think you're better than me. We know the translation. I've already told you the translation. <laughs> so I'm not telling you bring it down a notch because it's annoying. I'm telling you bring it down a notch because it could rub somebody the wrong way and your positive disposition could be the very reason why somebody that was going to have a good day is now going to have an okay day or worse because they don't understand why they can't be in that space. They don't understand that they've been in that space before but for them it's just an every once in a while whereas for you that's just your normal state of being. They don't, they don't get that. And just like you're a negative person, they don't want you don't want people to think that your sole goal for the day is to drag everyone down. Because somebody that's like I said, ninety percent of the population, they're not paying attention to their energy. They're not paying attention to what they're putting out in the world because they are an external material creature. So when they're coming in contact with you and you're in a negative space, and that could just be where you are. You were born into a, like a, just a negative a predisposed to negativity from an energetic standpoint. You don't have to stay there by any means, but that's just how you start your day. And as your day goes on, you usually build up. Most people start their day in the middle and it fluctuates for the rest of the day. Some people start their day at the bottom and it builds and then it fluctuates for the rest of the day. Some people start their day up here and they never leave that spot. Some people start their day down here and they never leave that spot. The people that start at the bottom, they're not trying to drag you down. And the, uh, the common comment on that is, wow, that's a really negative person. They're a really just shitty person. What they're saying is the reflection shows how shitty I can be because my immediate reaction to that negative energy was a negative response. Instead of, hey, have a hand up to the next level up. It was, here, I'm going to kick the chair from under you and let you drop down another level. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> We've all done it. I've, I did it when I was younger and didn't understand about energy and how important it is to keep track of where you're at in the spectrum for the day or where somebody else is at in the spectrum. And no, it is not your responsibility to raise or lower anybody's. But it is your responsibility not to interfere with other people's. But people, I would lose my advantage. Yeah, yeah, you would lose your advantage. But if that you're that shitty of a person that you're going to use other people's emotions and their ego against them like that, then you really don't need these videos. You already have everything you need to live your life. 
because these techniques aren't going to help make you a better manipulator. They're going to take away your advantage. They really, they really are. Because if you use these techniques to manipulate people, you already need, you already know how to spot the weak ones, the ones that are super up there, the ones that are super low. The ones that are super low, you lift them up and they'll damn near, they'll eat out of your hand. The ones that are super high, you tear them down to even middle of the road and they're a little bit more pliable. So, if you already know how to do these things and this is what you do with your energy, you don't need these techniques and you should probably move along. Seriously, move along. <laughs> Because I'm just going to teach you how to not have an advantage over people. To use your energy to govern you. Because if you're using your energy to govern you, you don't have time to govern everybody else's energy. And if you're going to govern someone else's energy, be mindful and put them in the space that they want to be in. If they want to be a little bit higher in the vibrational spectrum, help lift them up there. If they can't stand that level, Help them stay where they're at. Just being a decent human being helps with that. But be sincere. When you're projecting energy, don't project, hey, you're a piece of shit, while saying, hey, you're the nicest person I ever met. That's disingenuous. If you're going to say with the mouth, hey, you're the nicest person I ever met, project it from here. Be mindful of your energy. Also, be mindful, I've studied deep trance hypnosis, and uh, when someone tries to control your energy and get it in line with theirs, that's called creating rapport, and that's how hypnotists hypnotize people. So that's another reason to be mindful of your energy. Put it where you want it. Don't put it where somebody else thinks you should have it because they should. They might be trying to get something from you, whether it's positive or negative. Whether you're dealing with positive or negative energy, they could just be trying to manipulate that to get something from you. So, very good reason to be mindful of your energy. Uh, yeah, just start of the day, you wake up, Look at your energy. Is it neutral? Is it balanced? Is it high energy, low energy? Why is it high energy, low energy? Is there something eating at you that's causing like a, a, a depression of sorts? Ooh, moving the camera. Is there something going on that's creating this heightened uh, emotional state so that you're up a little bit higher than normal? Maybe you just met a girl. Maybe you just lost a girl. Maybe there's something, you've had your girl for years and there's something else going on in your life. Why are you letting this affect you emotionally? Now, you just met a girl or you just met a guy, have at it. Let, that, let it soar. But when you let something control your energy in a downward spiral, you have a tendency to take everybody else down there with you. And you'll see that the more mindful you get of the energy you're putting out, the less likely you are to get into a negative spiral, so you're not taking anybody with you. And God forbid if you just bury it, because then it's in there just festering. So if it's in there, let it out. But be mindful and know that you are in 100% control of this, this energy, your emotional energy. You are in control of that. Nobody can, can control that without your permission. This planet is by consent only. Everything about it. No one can control you without your consent. Even this broken system within which we live is an illusion to the, to, to the degree of we only do this by consent. Ooh, excuse me. If ever a day came that we changed our minds, people call that revolution. And then we're no longer giving our consent to live that way.
And that's pretty much what needs to happen. People need to look at themselves and, and say, I don't agree to live this way anymore. I don't agree to live with somebody else controlling my emotions on a daily, hourly, minute-by-minute minute basis. You're watching TV. What happens? That really good commercial comes on that brings tears to your eyes almost or makes you feel really good. That's them manipulating your emotions to get you to buy their products. Oh, look, he's got herpes. But in the commercial, he's got a puppy. And a fine girlfriend almost makes you want herpes so you can go buy their goddamn medicine. <laughs> Why do you want herpes? Because I'll get a puppy and a hot girlfriend. What? <laughs> it's pretty much what it comes down to. That's how they sell. It, 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 sex sells. Why? Because it's in sex is intense. And look at those tits. And hey, look at that butt. And doesn't that dude look fine? Sex sells because it's intense and it's an emotional response, an intense emotional response that you've now associated with that product using your energy against you. We brought tears to my eyes. I'm buying Charmin. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you miss this, you better be dead or in jail. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. Intensity. <laughs> it sells things it gets you to do things you might not have done otherwise but on, in, in these last few explanations it's not the person in the room doing it it's the TV doing it or even some commercial you saw on the internet <coughs> manipulating your emotional energy to get a desired response if you are in complete control of your energy that commercial will have no effect on you. You're not going to want herpes for a puppy and a fine girl. You're just going to go out and get a fine girl and a puppy. And my advice would be just get a puppy. <laughs> the fine girl will dump you. That dog will never leave if you're feeding him, right? <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. Get the fine girl or the fine dude or whatever it is you're after. <laughs> Uh -huh. But don't be led around by your emotions. And don't lead yourself around by your emotions. Don't convince yourself that oh, it's a positive feeling, so it has to mean something. No, you're bullshitting yourself. You control your emotions. Be mindful of, don't be, start with you. Don't rush out there and try and figure out everybody else's emotions, everybody else's emotions. Figure yours out. Why am I feeling this way? What caused it? Who caused it? When did it start? Was it something somebody else said? Did they say it on purpose to trigger this response? Are they playing to my ego? Or are they talking to me? Because if they're talking to you, they probably mean it. If they're talking to your ego, they want something. That's why I don't allow people to speak to my ego. Because... If I believe you that I am the shit, I will also believe you when you say I'm just shit. So I, I don't play that game. I am where I say I am at. Because I've learned over the years how to control that response. And that's the, one of the key points to understanding how to control the ego is learning how to control your emotional responses to certain situations to every situation really but let's start with certain situations first <coughs> the easiest would be watch some TV till a commercial comes on one of those heartfelt ones and see what it does and see why you let it and understand that you let it happen by permission. You said, okay, I'll give you permission to manipulate that. Whether or not you buy the product, you still let it happen. And then you may not think that it had an effect, but when you're at the store, you're thinking, what was that? I need some of this. Who makes this? Oh, that heart-wrenching commercial. Those people. I'll get their product. Even though it's probably overpriced and you get half as much and the quality sucks. But you'll get that product over a different product because they didn't have a commercial that made you have feels. I have feels. <laughs> oh, 
so recap. Be mindful of your energy at every point of the day, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. How do I feel? Why do I feel? Did somebody cause it? Did I cause it? Am I giving someone permission to make me feel? Answer those questions. How did I feel when so-and-so came in the room? Was it a good effect? Was it a negative effect? If it was a negative effect, get that person out of your life. If it was a positive effect, return the favor. If they're lifting you up, lift them up. If they're trying to tear you down, get rid of them because they're going to keep doing it. That's how they get what they want from you. And be mindful of the ones that only lift you up to get something from you. Guilt is the greatest wall destroyer. When you build your walls up, they'll guilt them walls right back down. And now you're back down in the mud instead of up in the clouds. That's why I like to stay balanced, not neutral. I take an active participation in my life. I stay balanced as much as humanly possible. I, like I said, I'm not perfect. I wasn't put here to be perfect. I was born perfect. I was put here to experience life, not experience perfection. Now, we're like way past the 30 minute mark. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are going to go ahead and call it. Uh, really good video. This video turned out better than I thought it was going to, but I thought that this video needed to be done. And then I'm going to come up with the rest of the week's uh, episodes, probably sometime this evening. So I'll be set and ready for the rest of the week instead of... I was actually set and ready for Friday, but it just it didn't happen because, like I said, I started a new job. But now that I'm starting a swing of things, I can get back into it. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. You can also favorite it if you want. Uh, leave comments in the comments down below or a video response. This is supposed to be a discussion. I want to know your experiences with the same thing. I want to know your take on it. I want to have a discussion with you. I mean, maybe you have something I need. Never thought of that, did you? <laughs> anyway, if you would like to keep coming back here and getting more information, maybe learn some new things, or maybe teach me something, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice, you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>